Yeah, like I said, it's definitely one of those things where it is a steamroll if he gets that first hit. He's gonna end up, end up in the corner. He's gonna tag in Magneto Dormammu for the sick mix-ups. He really can't beat them, you know? But obviously, Joey D's team works exactly in the same way. You see though, starts out with the stand heavy, and he's gonna start Magneto. I think this is absolutely the correct play against the composition of Joey. A starting Hagar is suicide. Let's just keep it a buck. You cannot start Hagar into zero missiles. Uh, potentially if you have a really good read at 99 seconds, but even then, I just don't think it's worth it. You yeah. need speed. Even with Disruptor Assist, it's just really hard to close the gap. Zero is able to put so much on the screen at once. And obviously, Zero does not care about Hagar and his Lariat. He yeah. doesn't. The miniature robot with a human face. Gonna get the knockdown, see some loops. This is the original yeah. Android. DHC is super early to make sure Hagar dies. Dormammu comes in. Are we gonna get a chance to fight? We're not even gonna get a chance to fight. Joey D, you said I play the cheap stuff for a reason. Yeah, this is definitely the cheap stuff. Obviously, Joey having won the uh, last two years at EVO, so you know, definitely knows what he's doing with his team. Oh, but that big drop there could cost him. We'll see. Uh -oh. Zero dies for this. No, Zero doesn't die for this. Oh. That might still be okay for Jason Kiddo if he can get a quick hit on Do uh, Dr. Doom here. All right, a nice push Ooh. block. Here's the throw. Misses the conversion. It was at a very odd height. That's going to diminish his chances of being able to come back. Oh, almost had the hit there on Virgil. Happy birthday, Fush Hook was just an inch away. Man, just stick out of the Rapid Slash, too. Jason Kiddo. I was really surprised Rapid Slash did not carry him across. Jason still has a oh. chance here, though. Off that height, he should get it. No, not quite. Again, very close. Stalking Flare. We're just threatening Chip now. And he knew, but he doesn't let it go long enough. He doesn't get the wall bounce. Zero dies. And Doom is going to get chipped. We have an even match. Damn. Jason Kiddo bringing it back. This is the perseverance of Jason Kiddo. Definitely able to make any matchup happen. Oh, that could have been it right there. He didn't confirm it. it. That was it. Here's the, here comes the, the meteors. Oh, the Swords eats it. But he managed to get away from the H. No, he jumps. Forward, no, he doesn't jump forward. He catches him, but the oh. super, the super Jason Kiddo one to zero now. Able to bring it back with just Dormammu. His X Factor ran out before he even killed a character. Still able to make it happen though. Jason Kiddo, so oh, clutch. Joey definitely. I see I match buttons in the chat. Joey definitely slapped the stick right there. Yeah. I slapped my stick too. Jesus. And he secures the hit this time into the TAC. Zero should die. Kiddo looked real good this game. Magneto, so he locks him down to make sure he's going to get the mix-up. Tags in Doom. I don't know about that decision. We'll yeah, see. definitely a bad hard tag there. He knew there was a lot going on, but he really wanted to keep zero. Ooh. Oh, my God. And all that pressure just to come down with the Lariat on him. Virgil, if you don't, if you can't kill him without X-Factor, you spend it. we got to make sure he dies. There's a great expenditure of the meter. Dormammu's going to come in. He's going to have... Some hits of stalking flare left too for the mix-up. Gets a setup too. Just a frame too late there for the unblockable, but he gets the command throw anyway. Got Joey D shaking here in his boots. My oh, oh my god! Okay, on the throw, Joey still in this. Yeah, Jason Kittle definitely went a little too hard there on the reads. He thought Joey D was gonna jump there, went for the command throw with completely. Joey D took advantage here. Need to come in. Ooh, Dashes away and gets the throw. He should be able to build a level three very easily here. Yeah, even if he doesn't kill, he's gonna kill all the X Factor time, and Joey D's gonna be within chip range. Still gets a launcher. No, he just does disruptor. So it's a two hit game for Joey, but this is no, oh, yeah, he ain't wanted to bet at all. And I respect that. I mean if it hits, you've got a chance. Yeah, when well, you've got that little health, honestly, it's worth the risk. What else can you do? Somehow, that first game definitely didn't seem like it, but Jason Kiddo is up 2-0. That's really serious, actually. He's playing out of his mind. All right, Joey taking control of this game here. We saw Dormammu do it solo, too. So with having Lariat, oh, he's not even going to need it to be just Dormammu. Magneto's going to live to fight another day. Ooh, that's going to hit. 
That's gonna hit both too. He can he can pick this up. He misses the input. Yeah, that would have definitely killed Zero there. Would have been a huge damage to Doom. It doesn't matter though. He's gonna kill Doom here. He's gonna be able to chip out Zero. Bro, kiddo, man. It's combos. Here we go. Purposely takes the hit, and knowing that's gonna win out. Oh, off the Inferno could have gotten the secured hit. Doesn't get it though. Gonna spend X Factor. Are we gonna kill here? Jason Kiddo with the team Damn. super three to zero.